Hello again, we're wrapping up the first quarter of 2022. I want to review an issue that's surfacing more often in the real estate world today. And the background is as follows. We all know that there is a limited supply of houses for sale and that's actually becoming even more limited. Um, the chances of you putting a house in the market and selling quickly remain very high. Um, so you think that's good news. However, many of you are moving and moving out of state. You might have a builder contract and you don't know for sure when that house is going to be completed. So selling your house and then not knowing when your new house is going to be ready becomes a major issue and how do you deal with that? And in fact, that has become a major reason why people, despite these high prices and despite the fact that they'd like to retire or move elsewhere, they still don't because they don't want to be homeless. They don't want to have to go somewhere and be surprised that they can't find a home where they want to live at the price they want to pay. And so even in the case where the seller has a firm contract on another place to live, it becomes difficult because delivery of new homes nationwide are being delayed and jeopardized by these supply shortages that are everywhere and almost every commodity needed to build a home. And as prices continue to skyrocket on these commodities and the delivery becomes more difficult, the cost of the builders is skyrocketing and their builder profits, by the way, builder, home builder stocks are close to selling at a 12 month low despite how hot this market's been because of this, their costs are skyrocketing. On they are likely to ask you for an increase over the original purchase price that they were trying to guarantee you. Uh, this can be a major issue. That happened to my niece. It they did. were getting ready to go to closing, yes, and, and their house had escalated in value and, and the, uh, the construction company was trying to get another additional 20,000, 40,000. Right. I said, well, if you don't take the house, we can sell it for 40000 more now. So right, so right. It's uh, a concern. Yeah, they are going to take advantage. Of, most people won't, yeah. by the way. Most builders are good, but there are a lot who aren't. And they see the prices rising, and they're going to just say, hey, if you don't pay the money, somebody else will. And they'll try to break the contract on you, so beware of that. But with mortgage rates also rising, the amount that you're going to pay at settlement when you... you buy the home and then your monthly payments are going to be significantly higher than you originally anticipated, it may even be high enough that you're not qualified for the mortgage on the new house. So these are all issues that you have to be pretty well aware of. Now the, for the purpose of this discussion, I'm going to assume that your new home that you have contracted somewhere else, it will be completed and will be a little later than originally planned. And the house you're selling now will sell pretty quickly. That's very common today. And there are several alternatives to get you out of this messy, inconvenient situation, but let's discuss the one method that's least stressful for you as the seller who needs to move and they have an undetermined date. You know, going in, you don't know if the house is going to sell in one day, one month, six months and you don't know whether you're gonna be moving in six months, 12 months. So there's a lot of things that have to happen. Um, the best way to do it is that if you sell your house, get a rent back, we all know this, but it's very difficult sometimes to get a longer rent back. A lot of times the buyers will say that they can't do more than a month more. You do wanna settle quickly. You want the, the money in your bank account. You don't want a long settlement date and something goes wrong and you thought you had your house sold and you're sitting here in July or August and you're back to square one. You do not want that to happen. You do want to close quickly, but get a rent back and get an agent who knows how to negotiate this. Another reason you need a great agent. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and um, how, how does the seller and, or homeowner deal with this? You know, this is tough. It's well, it's not an easy thing. But the seller has to take command and keep command, and they should be in command in today's market. Now, if you use a discount broker, if you go through one of these iBuyers, if you use one of these online people, or you use anything in the real estate world, the standard agent for any firm out there who's not a top-of-the-line 
intelligent negotiator who can work with the other agent and work with the other buyer, you're going to be in some trouble here. You need a common intelligent realtor who understands the dynamics of the market and the issue involved here. Now, to understand in this tight market, uh, the anxiety to accommodate every buyer need should not be there. We're in a still in a seller's market. The anxiety, if any, is going to exist. We don't want any to, but if it does, it should be on the buyer side. The buyers understand their need to be flexible. If they want their offer to be accepted, they need to know that there are other offers that are out there, and many of them are going to be flexible on move out dates, are going to be more flexible. Let the buyer know that. So the highest price isn't necessarily going to be who you go to. Let them know that. You want the guy with the highest price to also match the flexibility of an extended rent back period or the like or whatever it is that you determine when the actual transfer not only of legal ownership but real ownership takes place. So remember that the highest offer isn't always the best offer and you need people who can work with those who have the highest offer to make sure they can also settle the long terms that you need. This is crucial and it's often ignored. It's not taught in any of the real estate schools. Um, what, if a, what if a buyer, um, if the buyer just, um, you know, it, are they really committed? Do you feel they're committed to, to working with you? It, especially when you're with an experienced agent um, the buyer's committed to working with you as far as this is an important house for them. In today's market? Yes. Of course the buyer's okay. interested. Okay. The so buyer has to be because there's nothing else on the market. Okay. And, and even in a regular market, let's get this straight, if somebody is putting in a firm offer on your house and it's a good offer, it means they want to live there. They've already decided in their own mind that it's their house. Ah, so see. you should always be in control of the situation as a seller, even if the market's not as tight as it is. But in today's market, the seller should be commanding, uh, and, and the buyer needs to show an awful lot of flexibility if necessary in order to make sure these things close. Keep that in mind. We're talking from the perspective of listing agents selling your homes. Uh, people don't put in offers willy-nilly. They are mentally committed to your house when they put that offer. And take advantage of that. On uh, like I said, settle a legal transfer as soon as possible. Avoid long settlement dates. Uh, get a listing agent that understands these dynamics. Quite frankly, there aren't that many of them. And you really need a top flight agent who is going to charge you about the same amount that you're going to get from one of these guys that calls themselves a discount broker. So we're going to give you that same price. And we're going to give you so much more in terms of service and expertise. So please give us a call on that. Um, let's talk about if you have an existing home on the other side, that you are going to sell your house and you want to buy another house, say, in Tampa, Florida, but you don't want to go new construction. You're looking at a, the small amount of... That seems scary. Yeah. And that is a much scarier environment. Now... You can go on Zillow, Redfin, and you can click their premier agent button. You're going to get somebody who paid okay. to get the zip code and paid to get the thing, not anybody who knows anything about the areas you want to live in. Uh, so. so your listing agent has contacts in yes. other parts of the country. That's correct. And in Caldwell Banker, more than anybody else, we have more agents than anybody else. We sell for a higher average price than anybody else. But if you're dealing with a firm that has a lot of depth nationwide, and an agent who's intelligent enough to determine whether another agent in another town is the best guy for you or not. Mm. Let the agent help you find somebody. For instance, if we can narrow it down to that you want to live in Sarasota, Florida, and within a certain section of Sarasota, Florida, let the agent help you talk to some of the agents down there, see how much they know see how comfortable they think. You don't have to choose the person, it's your choice. You can find somebody on your own, you can do that. But I think it's wise to at least let the agent do that work for you too and at least make some recommendations. Whether you take them or not is up to you. That's great, so, yeah, that yeah, opportunity. Absolutely. you know that you're working with another professional Absolutely. at the same level 
right. or a similar level to what you've right. been working with. And you with. simply are not going to get that with these iBuyers, with these discount brokers, or with 98% of the agents out there, quite frankly. You're just not going to get that. So, um, once again, look forward to hearing from you. This is a tough issue, and um, it's one we're dealing with on a couple of listings right now. Yeah. And the people are pretty comfortable that things are going to work out right as they need to be. There's no reason to be fearful of it. Make things work in your advantage. The sale is going to go through quickly. The sale is going to go through well. That's usually the big thing you worry about. But, you know, we will get you where you want to live and hopefully close to a price at which you want to pay. So, so any other words? Any final yeah. words, Carla? Not me. Okay. That's it. You got it. All right. We've got, you. Or we've got it. Okay. Jan, you know how to get in touch with me. Information is here, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you.